As students stream back to classes after the long December holidays, a rush to purchase learning materials has been witnessed. However, various test books and storybooks flooding the markets have been put on a lot over the content they possess. This book is a maneno mingi yenye sometimes in ya watu wakubwa ama pia ina support gayism and lesbianism. Of course we don't support that as a Kenyans and Africans. This book by Usborn Publishers is alleged to have content exposing learners to homosexuality. Kitabu cha What is happening to me kulingana na maoni yangu naweza sema hii tume ya kuhakikisha vitabu ambavyo vinaweka kwenye bookshop ndio imetuangusha. K24 TV so to find more about the existence of such books, the quality of learning materials in the country and how safe the learners are. I, I got it through another bookseller. For her, the existence is far much better for parents who still are in denial about sexual education rather than their claims of them amounting to sexual propaganda. This book is not a textbook. It's a non-fiction book targeted to children. I will not throw out the baby with the bathwater because they are very good. There's a lot of good information in this book. And what about the direct exposure on same-sex education? Our children are exposed to this material. Number one, possibly from misguided peers or online where the content now is unsupervised and it's uncensored. The Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development which is responsible for the approval of what learners are fed through learning materials, has in the recent past also been put on the alert for failing on its mandate. This book, Maskini Popo, for instance, published by Moran Publishers, has been faulted as it said to contain content that is likely to draw learners towards suicidal thoughts. The content depicts a bat who lost friends and sought for a rope to fight loneliness. <laughs> na jinsi ambavyo kimeandikwa haya maneno kwa umri ambao umetolewa sio sawa Ngethe Matheri an author says there's need for KCD to tighten its belts when it comes to policies and approving learning materials Nadhani ingekuwa ni vizuri wanakuwa na muda zaidi na kitabu ndio kujua hichi kitabu ndio tayari tumempatia namba kitabu kinaelekea kuingia sokoni kufikia hapo itakuwaje Despite the rage on harmful content being fed to pupils, the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development has remained mum on steps it is taking to correct the same. And it's very British. British are the ones who talk about I fancy somebody. I fancy somebody. Yes. Not I like somebody. Yes. Milia Kisenya, K24 TV.